To make our next cladogram, we're gonna use plants. There are four kinds of plants that we're gonna basically use here, and there are examples of all of them in class. Since you're probably not in class if you're watching this video, here are some pictures and we'll point out the characteristics. On the top left, we have what we're gonna call a conifer. You might know them as an evergreen or a pine tree. The correct name is a conifer or a gymnosperm. And their unique characteristic is that the pine cone is where their seeds are. And you can see that there are openings in the pine cone, and so the seeds really don't have any protection. We say they're not covered. That is um, in contrast to a flowering plant or an angiosperm where the seeds develop inside the ovary of the plant and the seeds are actually covered usually by a fruit of some kind, no matter how small. The bottom two plants don't have seeds at all, they have spores. So on the left, we have a moss, and the little green parts that are sticking up here are where the spores live, and that's how the moss reproduces. Ferns also have spores. If you see the little black dots, on the undersides of their leaves. If you look at a fern, sometimes you see those and sometimes you don't. The ones we have in class do indeed have spores. Um, so both of these plants have spores and the difference between them is that the ferns grow in soil and have a root system. Moss sometimes can grow on soil, but also this is growing on rock. So mosses do not, do not have roots. So those are the four characteristics that we're going to be looking at as we begin to make our cladogram of plants. Looking at the taxonomy of plants handout. So what we know about these plants is that because they're plants, they all have chlorophyll. So we're going to mark that down as something everybody has. Now, you're going to use your observations and the handout that you just looked at to determine which plants have which of these characteristics. And I've started you out on a cladogram here with chlorophyll as the characteristic that everybody has. You're going to put the individuals across the top. And by each one of these boxes, you're going to put a characteristic that they have. Okay. That will be your fun little assignment for next class.